Hey guys, yes, 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 I finally made it onto YouTube. Woo! You're gonna have to excuse me, my voice is going. I had rehearsal yesterday and man them killed off my voice, so please excuse me if I'm like, hi everyone! And my voice is not on flute today. Thank you for everyone that has pushed me and encouraged me to do this. Yes, I'm finally on YouTube, so let's get started. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about me. My name is Josh Ellie, if you didn't know before, but um, like it says on Facebook and Instagram, I am living in Nottingham currently. I've lived there all of my life. Nottingham is north. Listen, I don't know. I never took geography, so I don't know. Somewhere in the north of England, I don't know. You lot can figure that out. Google Maps it, there you go. <laughs> I'm a sales assistant. I work in House of Fraser currently, um, in the office concession. Um, I um, used to work in Jack Wills in Nottingham and also I've worked in Offspring. Shout out to my Offspring fam, love y'all so much. Hobbies, photography, um, I like to cook every now and again, but every now and again, like, man ain't cooking all the time, that's what mothers are for, hallelujah. Love music, My probably my favourite genre is R&B. Um, love gospel music as well, because my church background, hallelujah. What? What? I'm a lovely outgoing person, lovely sociable. If you see me around not, if you see me around anywhere, just be like, yo, that's Josh Elliott. I'd be like, yo, I don't know who you are, but safe in it. I was going to be a bit boring and be like, oh, hi, guys, my YouTube channel. <laughs> Thanks very much. Have a lovely day. Bye. But I thought, no. So I'm going to do my five most, like, needy and necessary things to get by in life. My first one, cocoa butter. Now everyone used to take the mick out of me at school because they used to be like, ha ah, ha you moisturise. I used to be like, what's wrong with moisturising? My skin looking dry is weird. Like that, like me creaming my skin is not weird. Like if you want me to look like a scaly fish, then okay, I will. But generally, I want to look silky smooth and creamy and fresh. I usually get the non fragrance one as well because I kind of like, sometimes when you walk into work, people are like, oh, you smell of cocoa butter. And I'm like, ugh, like I don't really want to smell like that. Like it's not exactly the manliest smell in the world. So I kind of get the fragrance free ones and then I can spray my aftershave and it doesn't really clash with the cocoa butter. My second thing, um, I'm kind of big on hygiene. So you'll kind of, you'll see why I pick some of these things, but it's toothbrush. Now don't laugh at me. Toothbrushes are so essential in life. And if you're not brushing your teeth twice or three times a day, then there is a problem. I can testify because I have had 10 fillings and one root canal, and my dentist bill is a fortune. Let me say that woman has no chill. I love her because she's a good dentist, but she has no chill because she's charging me the world for it. It's costing me a small fortune. So brush your teeth three times a day. It makes your teeth nice and clean. Just sometimes you're talking to someone, you can just see food all up in their mouth, and I'm like, like girl like what are you doing like no just and i'm like and the thing is i can't stop staring at it so i'll be like engaging in conversation with someone and just be like and like they'll be like josh josh and i'll be like yeah yeah and i'll just be like and joe sometimes you like secretly like yeah you know like and sometimes you're like, yeah, you got food in your teeth. Like, generally, you just have to tell some people because some people don't have a clue. I have the Oral-B one. It's sick, genuinely. You will not turn back to a normal toothbrush once you've had an electric one. Buy one. They're genuinely fire. My next one is related to kind of toothbrushes, and you'll see why. Breath mints. Now, I'm a big person on breath mints. If your breath is ganking, we're going to have a little bit of a problem. When you wake up and you have morning breath, woo! No, 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 no. I don't like morning breath. So um, I always carry around a pack of mints. I have about a pack of five in my car. I carry a pack in my bag. Um, I carry usually one packet in my pocket. And I have a packet in my room just for like the essentials. Like whenever I need it, I've always got a pack that can just whip out and just suck on a pair of mints. You never know who you're gonna see. Like, who you're gonna be lips in on that joking. <laughs> but genuinely, carry breath mints because you don't want to be chatting to someone and be like, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, because, no, it ain't about that life. And if someone is trying to breathe in my face and their breath is not on fleek, like, you're going to know about it. So I'm going to be like, excuse me, I really don't mean to be rude, but your breath is on next levels and you're about to gas me out. So please have a breath mint. The next one um, is another really, really, and this is probably the most important one for me, deodorant. Let me tell you a little bit of a story. I used to work in Offspring, right? Now one time this customer came in and let me tell you, I have never smelt a smell like it before. The smell was so bad it was sour. Now I didn't even know smells could get sour but it got that deep that day and I was not ready for that smell. I was like, Jesus take the wheel for this person's armpits because genuinely I felt sorry for them. And like if I had deodorant I would have pulled them inside and said please, please just use this because 
you really, really, really need it. And not in a rude way or to embarrass them. Because I think sometimes, like, you can be like, you smell and it's embarrassing. I take them aside and just be like, mate, like, I'm starting to smell a little bit of a funky smell. Do you know what I mean? And it's coming from your region. Probably perhaps top up on this. I'm not ready for smells like that. Like, please don't be coming to me knowing that you smell. It was just so bad. And the thing was, like, how can you smell sour? I had a blocked nose and it freed the blockage in my nose. That's how bad the smell was. Like, I'm sorry, if your body is smelling that bad, you ever haven't had a wash in about three days or you've played some serious sport and you haven't had a shower afterwards, you can't just be rolling through town smelling up everybody. Even after 10 minutes of that person leaving the shop, it still stunk. I had to go buy air freshener and spray the air freshener around the shop. People were coming in like, Ooh, What's that smell and I just have to blame the drains like generally I was like oh, I'm so sorry Nottingham has awful drains at the minute please 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 wear deodorant at all times twice a day guys twice a day just like brushing your teeth twice a day amen somebody oh praise the lord and the last one it is a little bit technology related and you're gonna be like oh he's gonna say like his phone no I can't live without my phone but how am I supposed to live with my phone when I can't charge it it's just gonna be dead all the time so genuinely I got one of these and I got it free through EE but when I when I was reading reviews and they were telling me these were heating up and blowing in people blowing up in people's faces, I was like, sorry, what? So I was like, I'm gonna get myself a new one. So then I got these like smaller little like power pack ones, but they don't charge my phone fully enough. So I was like, this is ridiculous. So then I got this big one from Amazon. It's like Anchor, but I've lost it at the minute, which is bets in my spirit because now I can't charge my phone. Um, I'm just gonna plug it in, but. So I got this big one and it charges it like four times and you can charge two things at once which I think is sick. I have that in my backpack or in my bag and when I'm like on the go I'll be charging my phone so it's generally it's fire like turn up to the portable charger. This is like part of item number five. This may look like an ordinary phone charger but this thing is three meters long. Okay? Three meters. Uno, dos, tres. Three meters long. Three meters long. When I'm sat at my okay, let me let me just explain something to you. My plug is down yonder. My bed is up this way. So when I'm telling you, I can plug my charger or my phone in, and I can sit in my bed and have my phone fully fully plugged in. I am praising the Lord because I know I can still be on Snapchat even though that rinses out my battery and my phone's still charging and the thing is it's quick charge, it's like that 3.0 thing so it charges my phone real quick so I just had to praise the Lord for that and bear in mind it's like £3 from Amazon, free delivery, go and get yourself one because genuinely it will change your life. So guys that was my um, five most necessary and needy things in life. If you have any um, other suggestions or anything that you um, deem to be like really important in your life please leave it in the comments below because I would love to read and have a good old laugh at some of them they can be as silly as you want or they can be as sensible as you want so guys I'm gonna bring something new in um, it's gonna be a segment that I'm gonna do right at the end of every video it's gonna be called my weekly obsessions so um, it's gonna be one item that I've been obsessing about over the whole week this one thing that I've ever bought or I've been wanting and I've got it um, and I've been just gassing up about it this whole week so my weekly sessions are my Timberland boat shoes genuinely look how sick they are like why I'll just get that in focus why 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 so I got these in the offspring sale so they were originally £130 and they dropped to wait I'm just let me just let me just pose myself for this one £35 Praise the Lord Jesus, amen. Yes, 35 pounds, 35 pounds, 35, 35 pounds. And they're sick because I love the colour and I love the soles on them. I just generally think they are so nice. I've worn them once before. I bought them about a week, about a week ago. The, like, the last ones in that colour there. Just sat there calling out my name and I was like, yes, yes. So I bought them and generally they're sick. I wore, I've worn them once, I wore them to work. Um, and so many people coming in on them. So yeah, that's my weekly obsession for this week. Um, there'll be something different next week, so stay tuned and you'll find out what's my weekly obsession next week. So 
Yeah. So everybody, that is the end for today. I just want to thank you all for joining me today. Um, if you really, really, really did like this video, please press the like button and subscribe below. Like I said before, if you have any other, have any other suggestions for um, any other episodes or any other, if you have any ideas, any challenges, like I said, it's going to be so fun. I'm doing collabs with different YouTubers. I've got something really fun coming up, coming up in September, so that should be fun. So please stay tuned. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Stay real, stay ream, god I don't say that word in ages fam, stay fresh, keep brushing your teeth, keep washing yourself, keep putting on deodorant and have a ton up day, thanks y'all, see you later, bye! Can I just say that would be the last time I'm sitting on a swivelly chair? This is ridiculous. <laughs>